Hey, this is Jason Clark here at South Dakota State University, and welcome back to our webinar series on nitrogen rate calculations, specifically looking at yield goal. In our previous video, we talked about how to estimate yield goal. Now we're going to talk about how accurate that yield goal calculation approach has been here in South Dakota. So let's go get started. So if we look at our yield goal estimates for South Dakota, we see what we see here as far as counties go. And what we see is we see kind of a trend going from our northwest to our southeast portion of our state, which is also our precipitation pattern. So largely in South Dakota, our yield potential is limited by rainfall, which is why having that kind of in our consideration when we're determining our yield potential is very important. Now, if we want to look at just how accurate this way is of determining our yield, we're going to take our different values for these different years. And we have 21 sites that we included in this data set. And we're going to take our yield goal, with the high yield goal being red, the low yield goal being blue, and subtract it from what we actually saw. So the number closest to zero means we're more accurate. So above the line means we're overestimating our yield potential. Below it means we underestimated. So using the high yield potential here, and then using the low yield potential, we see that for the most part in these sites, that high yield was better. If we look at a couple sites here specifically, we see this site here in Volga 2018-2019 where when we use that low yielding we actually underestimated our yield potential even more and that was because we had really good growing conditions here. If we compare this against these four sites, these two Gerritsen sites, we see that using the low yield potential was a bad idea, was a good idea actually because it made their recommendations more accurate. We got closer to that zero so we're more accurate to our actual yields. And in this site over here in Chelsea East and West, which had drought conditions, we see again that the number became more accurate when we went from that high yield potential to low yield potential. So we can see in dry years, using that lower yield potential is a good idea to increase the accuracy of, of, our, of our yield goal. So if we look at the means, we see if we use that high yield, on average underestimated by a bushel, if we use the low yield average, underestimated 34 bushels per acre. So the last three years in South Dakota, We've had good growing years, so it's ideal, most likely, unless we think we're in a part of the state that has a drought, to use that higher yield potential equation. So, so far for our nitro recommendation, we start off with our yield goal, 144 bushels per acre. And next up is that 1.2 coefficient. So I hope to zoom over to that video next and see what we have to say about that as well. And as always, thank you very much for your time. And if you'd like to, feel free to follow us on social media so we can get you updates as soon as possible for research and other topics such as this today.